Hello and welcome to a bite-sized Unity tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at prefabs. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel and you'll find assets and plenty of other things there too. You can also join as a free member. So the main question of this video is, what is prefab? Well, in simple terms, a prefab is an asset, but it's an asset that you can either import or directly create yourself in engine to enable quicker development. You could think of it as a collection of objects which have been defined in a specific way. How do we create a prefab exactly? That's actually really simple. So I have this scene here. It's all low poly and everything. And let's say we want to add these pieces of grass right here. Well, we can just drag and drop as you normally would. So let's get a couple into place. A nice kind of grassy, bushy area sort of thing, I guess. So we have six assets there in our window. So let's say we want to reuse these pieces as they are in other sections of our game. To do that, we can create a new game object and create empty. And let's just call this grass cluster. And obviously, depending on what you have down, you will call that whatever you would want it to be. So what do we do now? Well, we can drag and drop these grass pieces all into grass cluster. And then we can move grass cluster around all together. I'm pretty sure we all know that. That's not a problem. However, this still is not a prefab. What is this exactly? Well, it's a game object with many other game objects under it. So how do we make this into a prefab? So most of the time in Unity, you'll be dragging things from this asset panel down here into the hierarchy or into the scene view. But did you know that you can actually do that in reverse? Yep, it's true. So this grass cluster, let's now drag that into our asset panel. And you can see it's created an asset. This is now a prefab. You can tell it's a prefab because it's highlighted blue up here in the hierarchy. What happens if we delete this? Well, we can delete it and it's still here. So much like we've done previously with this single grass cluster, we can now drag and drop multiple of them. Yeah, you can't see it right now, but we just need to bring them up out of the ground like so. And you can see we have these multiple clusters of grass. This is now prefab. And you can do a prefab with pretty much anything. See this whole environment? That could technically become a prefab. Drag and drop it into there. And there we go. We could just duplicate it just like that. So prefabs are incredibly useful for some more precise games where you need kind of proper placement of assets rather than generically creating them. Uh, so yeah, I'd give it a go and try and use them when you can, but maybe don't go over the top with them. So I hope that's expanded your knowledge a little on prefabs and remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload and I will see you next time.